Hi everyone and welcome back to some more War of the Chosen. So, we got Grilla up to do to counter Maid Hall. And we definitely need to counter that. I do not want to deal with Chosen without weaknesses. That would make them even more annoying than they already are. And here's the squad I prepared. We got Carlos, we got Flynn, who are bondmates. We got Locke, we got Mihai, who was one of our genius level soldiers. And we got Unstable. So, let's go, shall we? Sky Ranger deployed. In position for the We're expecting a strong contingent of security forces. Neutralize them. There's a pretty good the chance site. we'll start seeing mid-game enemies costs. now. Menace Especially since we already had mutants. So that might be fun. Alright, let's scout ahead with Carlos. I go where you tell Maybe me. move out of the low ground. Okay, looks quiet. No place for you to go now. First group. Okay, that looks pretty nasty. That was a muton, a mech, and demolitionist. I didn't catch the types. Alright, okay. let's move to the high ground. Let's do this. Or I suppose this is the regular ground on this map. Come on everyone, let's go. Moving out. And look. It's far, but I can reach let's see if it's a patrol or a stationary group. Yep, they are moving. We could set up a claymore and then open with a grenade. Which would be our best option here, basically. Can we do that? I think we're close enough. Let's make sure before we do anything. Yeah, Flynn needs to be closer. Behind this tree, perhaps. I would prefer full cover, you know? This should do. Yes, we can do it. Let's do it. This is our best chance. So, Claymore, and then we'll use the grenade. A deadly trap. This should be pretty damn good damage. Do we want Overwatch? Maybe with Mihai. Okay, Overwatch, but that's it. Alright, grenade time. Make it a good one. Also, it's a riot mech, which means he will use a smoke grenade as soon as we trigger the pod. That was pretty nice damage. Didn't kill anything, but that's fine. Let's see if Mihai is going to hit. Come on, Mihai. I'm counting on you. Nice. I don't think that's enough for a kill, but he's good enough. Two health on the muton. And here comes the smoke, like I said. What now? I'm thinking Reaper, maybe. Oh, we are too far away from the mech. Well, okay. We could solve that problem with Reaper. Yeah, let's use Reaper. And first, we'll kill Demolitionist. That will give us plus one focus and allow us to attack again. Then we can attack the mech. We should do 4 damage with this. Yep, that's a granted kill. Nice. And then we'll see if we can kill the muton. Unfortunately, I can't melee the muton. We got a repeater. Just a regular one, but alright. Oh, hi! We found some sectoids. Well, alright. I can deal with that. Now, can we deal with the muton? We could kill him with Vault, but seeing how we triggered some sectoids, that's probably not a brilliant idea. No, not really. We can try to take a shot with Unstable, but yeah, he's not going to hit. Vault is our only chance to kill the muton. Not happy about that. I 
I mean, we can try Rand, but it can fail. And then he will hit us in the face. Not really what we want. This sucks. Now, Volt will kill him, but it will also end our turn. Screw it, let's kill the Muton. Here. And now we can use Aid Protocol. Yep. We got Smoke and Aid Protocol. It should be enough. I hope it will be enough. That's basically plus 40 defense. Same as cover. More or less. Okay, let's move a little bit closer. It was a good turn, all things considered. Oh great, 5 damage already. Seriously? That's just not fair. He's using a Sonic ability. That's better than shooting him in the face. Mind controlled. Yeah, alright. How do we deal with that? By killing the Sectoid? But that's easier said than done. Yeah, okay. We'll need either a grenade or demolition. Probably a grenade. We also need to move closer. Let's move closer, shall we? So, I'm thinking grenade, because that will do some damage. While also destroying cover. We can't hit both, unfortunately. Nope. Alright, let's go for it. He needs to go down. Could have been better, but... We destroyed the cover, that's the important part. Now, Mihai, what's your chance to hit? Only 31%. Wait, what? He still has high cover. Yeah, we didn't destroy the cover. That sucks. I'm not sure if we'll be able to do this. I can't flank that Sectoid. We'll just have to take a shot. And hope that we'll hit. Apparently we did! But this is still not enough for a kill. And I can't flank him. So... This actually didn't help us. As impressive as it was. Yeah, we still have to take a shot. That's it. I will reposition. Carlos needs to hit. 49%. That's not terrible. Come on, Carlos. Nice, we got him. That was pretty lucky, I have to say. And that gives us luck. Let's see what he can do. He can almost kill that Sectoid. But almost isn't really good enough. Let's give him a heal first. Aid protocol and smoke did not help. As much as I was hoping it will. Not much point attacking that Sectoid. Although... Fine, let's attack it. Technically we had a 10% chance to kill him with a crit. Not that I was counting on it. And I'm thinking Rand, uh, I mean parry. Or we can jump down here, that's still smoke. Sounds good. Okay, and that leaves us with unstable. Overwatch. Okay, that was a bit weird. Here's the other sectoid. Is that mind control again? Yeah, it is. But we can deal with this. We are actually in range. First, let's take a shot from the flank. With unstable. We kind of need him to hit. No pressure. Moving out. 
22%. There we go. 8 damage. Now this feels like a bit of a waste of rend. But hey, it will give us plus one focus. Let's go for it. That's a guaranteed kill. Goodbye. And we cleared mind control. Anything else? No, looks like that's it for now. Oh yeah, hold on, there's still that other sectoid. Right. Well, this is a bit awkward. Let's just shoot him from the high ground. This should be close to 100%. We actually got stuck. This is a guaranteed kill. Even if it wasn't 100%. There, now they are all dead. We are not quite done with this mission, however. Let's move on. We can actually conceal Carlos again, which is not a bad idea. Let's conceal him and scout around a little bit more. There's also a hack available. We should check that out before we leave. Heading out. Heading there now. Okay, Overwatch. I won't let them pass. We got seven more turns. There's no huge rush. Oh, yep, yeah, we found a group. Not much of a group from the looks of it. Starting to get cooked. We didn't actually trigger them yet. It's just Carlos who can see them. Okay. What about that hack? We need to run a lot more than this. Well... Let's take a shot at the objective, that's why we're here. One more shot should do it. Maybe not from Carlos. Flynn can finish the job. There, don't have to worry about that anymore. And Overwatch. Yes, Bradford, we will, don't worry. Here they come. Now we will trigger them. Actually, no, we still won't. That's pretty funny. So how about that hack in the back? This should be close enough. But let's move into cover. There, let's check it out. Might be something useful. Maybe some supplies? No. That is not useful, never mind. And the other one? Oh yeah, that's the same thing. Let's go take care I'll of take that patrol. I think it's best if we just wait and overwatch. They will find us. This area. So the let them. Sounds good shot. to me. Oh, there's yet another group. I might have miscalculated slightly. But I'm glad I used Overwatch. That was a nice shot. And he's down. And here are his friends. Was that two Stun Lancers? I think so. Alright. This might still be interesting. I can't even see them. Did they even trigger or not? They might not have. Weird. So, kill the trooper first. We can still activate Reaper if we want to. What about Flynn? 
we can reload and then either take a shot or use demolition. Demolition might not be bad. I'm slightly worried about the Star Lancers on the roof. I don't think we triggered them, but I'm not entirely convinced about that. Alright, reload. And let's use demolition. Fine. There. That blew up his cover. Now we can take a shot. 64% with me, high. It won't get much better on this. We do get a penalty from range, but oh well. There. That was almost a kill. However, now we can use Reaper to kill them both. Which is exactly what we're going to do. So Reaper... And first, the Trooper and then the Sectoid. And now the Sectoid. Goodbye. And that leaves us with two stun lancers, I think. Something like that. Scanning. Let's just overwatch. As you order, Commander. And move into cover, preferably. My watch begins. Yeah, here they are. We'll get one shot at least. And miss terribly. Is he active or not? Well, he used overwatch. Yeah, they were active. Five critical damage. Not very nice. Nobody died. That's the important part. Let's start from a hill, shall we? Although... Maybe not. Hold on. We can hit this guy. The guy in the back is on overwatch. We can make him drop that by using stock. Probably worth it. Not much else Flynn can do, so this will be the most useful thing he can do. Oh nice, he actually hit! Good job. That's even better. Okay, so first attack the Lancer. Yeah, go for it. He's down to one health. And he's disoriented. Let's see. We can flank him and take a shot with the pistol. In fact, we can shoot him in the face with the pistol. Works for me. Goodbye. And that leaves us with that guy in the back. So... What's our chance? 43%. I go where I am needed. A little bit closer, maybe? 51. Please just kill him and let's go home. There we go, he's dead. And we're done. Do we have ammunition available? That was a pretty good mission. Could have been a little bit better. But nobody died, so... I'm fine with this outcome. Any promotions? One. For unstable. That's going to be Haywire Protocol. Alright. We got a repeater. And 88 Intel. And more importantly, we countered Made Whole. Now, back to the bridge. Intel. What do we want to do? Finish making contact with Eastern Europe, I suppose. We are about to finish covert action. There it is. So influence increased. And we got additional resistance orders. What did we get? Live fire training. What is that? 
Any recruits training in the GTS will achieve the rank of sergeant. Oh, that's amazing! That is actually amazing. We definitely want that. So, next covert action. What's available? We don't have a lieutenant available, so we can't do that one. Promotion and ability points. That is tempting. We could wait four days and then send Joseph. Now that is very tempting. I think I'm going to do exactly that. We could actually go and scan at the Templar HQ for a few days. To make it faster. Alright, let's do it like that. We'll wait for him to come back and then send him to get a promotion. Just a few days. Knowledge increased. And there's the power relay. What do we build next? We don't need a training facility. I still want a laboratory, but there's just no time to build one. I can't increase my bond levels without a training facility. We also kind of need a proving ground. But right now I mostly need a training facility. So let's build that. That will take 12 days. Okay, we still got one spare engineer. Let's clear alien machinery faster. Actually, no, we don't. Well, we kind of do if we remove this guy from resistance ring. We aren't running any covert actions right now, so we might as well move her for a moment. Waiting for notifications down here. There. There's Joseph. So now we can send him to get a promotion. I think this is the only way we can do it. Yep, that's the only way. It's definitely worth it. So Joseph... and... one more person. Doesn't really matter who he's going to be. Jake? Ross? Let's send Ross. You know, I think we'll end up with a few unused squaddies. Because with our new resistance order, we'll be able to get surgeons immediately. I would like to level up the geniuses, so Ryan for example. Let's maybe send him to get a little bit of experience. Sure. I think I'll pass on the intel part. If Joseph gets wounded, that's okay, we have the infirmary. It's not really a big deal. I'd rather keep my intel. So off you go. And now we can reassign the engineer. So remove. And move to the resistance ring. That's nine days. Oh yeah, we don't need to stay here anymore. Let's finish making contact with Eastern Europe. Dark event complete. We should also be finishing plated armor soon, in six days. The plan is to raid the facility after we finish plated armor. And then research facility lead to raid another one. Looks like the elders are getting close to finishing their Yeah, we are getting a little bit too close for my taste. Commander, the aliens continue Yes, Bradford, I'm aware of this. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need Chosen to retribution. They knew what they were getting themselves into. There, we made contact. The is after something in this area. Located. So, we can raid it, but let's wait three days for plated armor. Meanwhile, we can get started on either supplies or intel. I think supplies were first. But I honestly don't remember anymore. Burning Convoy is the oldest one. 
I suppose we could grab that. We are not going without plated armor. So, just a few days. Flynn has recovered. Oh, advent retaliation. Right, that happened. Well, I suppose we'll be doing that first. No plated armor yet. Let's have a look. Who is going? I would say Locke is definitely going. And Flynn? Who else? Maybe Trey? Trey and Vincent. Sounds good. And who else? Which classes do we need? We need a specialist. So that's going to be unstable. Sounds good to me. Make everything available and let's see. Magnetic rifle with advanced scope. What else? Shotgun. Can we upgrade anything? I don't think so. The auto pistol. That's probably worth it. It's a cheap upgrade, let's do it. But I think I'll pass on the sharpshooter pistol. We already got the battle scanner. I guess this is good enough. But we'll be doing that in the next episode. Thanks for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time.